Well, welcome back to the Leading Through Serving community, and this is our free Lagos training. We are in session two, and we're going to look at the home page in this session. It's going to help you increase your prayer life. It's going to help you increase your devotional life and also help you set up a reading plan in Lagos Bible software. Can't wait. Let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, friends, we are now going to explore the home page. If you are jumping in on this video, make sure you go back and watch my previous video on how to download Lagos itself. This is a free resource that has over 70 free resources for you in a software that will transform your Bible study. So make sure you go back. The video is in my cards here. Make sure you go back and watch that first video. But now we're in the second video where we're going to look at the home page. Now, I remember I told you that you should download the online version and not the app. Well, I discovered that the app actually doesn't take up most a lot of space for the free version. So let's go ahead and download the app. So if you want to go back to that first video, uh, go ahead and download the app itself and then come back and we're going to talk about the home page because there's some functionality within the app that the online piece does not have so i'm going to continue these videos using the free app that they have so make sure you download it but this video we're going to look at the home page the home page when you open lagos you open lagos in a blank page just like this and when you click on the home button you're going to get this home page open up now I want you to ignore this explore section because you cannot really toggle off many features here because it's a free version. So they're going to give you some ads and some things that you need to click on to go to their website. Don't click on them. Okay. I want you to focus on the dashboard up here. Okay. The dashboard for you, it may have a quick start guide for Lagos nine or 10. Feel free to watch those, but I'm doing this for a reason because I want to walk you through this slowly. So don't do the quick start guide. I want you to click on the little ellipsis next to those guides and click on remove card and you can remove the card from those. Here's what I want you to do for the home page though. We're going to do a couple of different things. First of all, before we even hit this dashboard, I want to help you become a better Christian and pray. And so uh, this is going to be helpful for you when we talk about these that this dashboard. But I want you to click on this documents tab. We're going to talk about documents at length, but click on documents and then click on the passage, the prayer list, the prayer list. And here, if you say uh, pray for my wife and then say she needs a better job. Okay, you can have that as a prayer and you can also add a tag uh, family as a tag for your prayer. So just in case um, when we do a search later in the library, I'll show you why that tag is important. But here you see uh, pray for my wife and this prayer list is going to be my family prayer list. Now, why do we do that before touching on this home page? Because. Uh, once I close this out and go back to the home page, look at what happened. It actually populated in my dashboard on my home page. Now, let's say the card accidentally gets removed and you're like, oh, I really want to pray for my wife, but the card's gone. Well, this little plus button over here is going to be your friend for your dashboard. If you click that plus button and go down the prayer list, you'll see the family prayer list is there. You can add it back and then you have a prompt for the day. So when you open Lagos in the morning, you're having your morning study time on the front page, on the home page, you'll see the folks that you need to pray for. And when you pray for those folks, you click on the checkbox and you will see that now is scheduled for tomorrow to pray for her tomorrow. Now, you can change this. Let's say you don't want to pray for your wife every day. Maybe you don't. 
<laughs> and you can say, I want to pray for this person every week. Uh, or you can add a new prayer, a family member to this prayer list and say, son, pray for a great year at school. And you want to pray for him every couple of days. Hit that enter button. Again, you want to tag it family. Just so you can kind of keep everybody together in the family. And when you close out, of there's no save button in Logos. It all saves it automatically. But when you close out, you will see that you have a prayer for your son today. And you can click on that, that prayer and pray for him today. And then it will move to the next day. Okay. So once you finish praying for your people, you get a nice little cool prompt. If, for those of you who like check boxes to do list, you now have that check box and say, I've prayed for my family. I like the fire emoji because you got to be praying fire down. Okay. And when you hit see next, it'll go to the next prayer. And you see, it says Saturday. You're like, why aren't I praying for my son tomorrow? Remember you said two days, every two days. So it's going to skip to the Saturday for your son for that particular section. So let's say you also want to add yourself a daily devotional. Let's say you want to wake up prayer devotional and you got two versions of devotionals in the free version of Lagos. One is connect the testaments. The other is morning and evening. I want you to check both of them out, but we're going to do the morning and evening this time around. And if you hit add, it's going to add this as one of your devotionals. Now Spurgeon's morning and evening has two devotionals each day, one in the morning time, one in the evening. I'm recording this in the evening on August 31st. When you click on it, it will go straight to the evening devotional. Now, maybe you're saying, well, I, I see the devotional, Pastor John, but I want the Bible to be right there beside it. Oh, say less. Slide it right there beside it. And then every time you click on an entry in your devotional, you will see that corresponding Bible verse. So everyone, remember, every one of your passages in any of your resources is hyperlinked and you can click on it for any passage. Okay. So now you got your evening reading for August 31st. You can read this evening reading. We're going to talk about taking notes or journaling a little bit later, but you can all, always highlight something and journal with it. We'll talk about that on another session. So now you got yourself a prayer list. You got yourself a morning and evening devotional. Let's say you want a quick link to a reading plan. Let's say that. So reading plans are going to be plans through which you can actually read different themes in the Bible. So let's say you want to read seven days on covenant, seven days on covenant. Uh, you have a reading plan now that's going to walk you through seven days on the covenants of God. So today, this covenant with Noah is going to have you read uh, chapter eight to I think chapter nine is going to be or at least half of chapter nine. And you're going to click mark as done once you're done with reading it. And it's going to tell you your next covenant reading is going to be for tomorrow. Now, if you noticed when I opened up that reading plan for covenants, my devotional was still open. I want to remind you that even though you hit the home button, all the books that you have open in Lagos, it's like taking a book off a shelf and putting it on your desk. All of them are going to stay on your desk until you take them off your desk. So even when I click on the covenant piece, my devotional is still open. If I want to just put that back on the shelf per se, I just hit that X button and let's say I want to make this bigger. All you got to do is slide this on over to make it bigger and it fills the screen out. Now, if you want to fill the screen out with your Bible without having to do that, all you got to do is drag it until that shadow 
becomes biggest and you just open it from there okay so look at what we did for our home page ignore the explore page that's his advertisements this is the free version remember but you got a prayer list now you have yourself a devotional you got a reading plan that you can add for covenants let's say you want to do a reading plan on um 30 days with jesus you want to spend some time with jesus well they're going to uh, give you this reading plan now i think I had started this before, so it's telling me it's behind because I started this plan before. You can always hit the catch me up button. It will start you on the next day of that reading plan. You can read it. And once you're done with reading it, then you will be able to click on the mark is done button and move to the next section of the reading plan. Uh, let me try one more so you can see what that looks like. So reading plan. Let's say I want to do 10 days on hospitality. I want to host people in my house. I start here with today's reading. Abraham welcomes God. Mark as done. Once I mark it as done, it tells me what tomorrow's reading is. I can go back to the home page. And sure enough, I got my checkbox for today. So this is a good way to start a prayer list, start your devotional life, and then also looking at reading plans. And we haven't even jumped into many of the other features that are awesome, but I just wanted to touch on the home page in this particular feature. Hopefully it was helpful for you all. And I want to do one more tip for you. And this might require a little bit of work here, but I want to show you something because I don't necessarily like the dark version of Lagos. So if you're like me, there's a little three button ellipsis here and there is a application theme. The system setting is dark, but I like the light one better and I'm going to be using it moving forward in these sessions. But if you click on light, it's going to cancel it. So my screen may go away and I'll come back and show you what the light version looks like. And there it is. That's what the light version looks like. I like it better. Um, it's easier on my eyes and I just like being able to see the white, the black text on the white background. Maybe it's just me being a book nerd and, and growing up in school, but I think it's better for me. So if you like the light version, again, just click on that three button here, uh, click your application theme and switch it over to light. All right. That has been our home screen, our home screen. Uh, next go around, we're going to dive into our next segment and it's going to be very helpful as we work our way through this little toolbar. And then we're going to create some shortcuts. We're going to uh, fix our library, make it look all nice and you don't want to miss it. So I'll see you all on the other side. Again, this has been Leading Through Serving. We're helping you to read better, to lead better and to live better. And this software is going to help transform your Bible study. Grace and peace.